Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, UAVOS deploys first UVH-170 unmanned helicopter. Magni X and Harbor Air Inc. LOI 450 Magni 650 electric engines. World eVTOL directory now lists over 1,000 designs. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. UAVOS deploys first UVH-170 unmanned helicopter designed to fight wildfires. UAVOS has recently achieved a significant milestone in public safety and emergency services with the first operational deployment of its UVH-170 unmanned helicopter, designed specifically for wildfire suppression. The deployment, which involved both day and night operations, represents a critical advancement in the use of unmanned aerial vehicles in managing natural disasters. The UVH-170 is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including the Gimbal 201, which allows for high-precision georeference data acquisition through visible light and thermal imaging cameras. This technology meets the stringent requirements of fire services for target sensitivity, accuracy, and timely data delivery, which are crucial for effective fire management and containment strategies. During its inaugural field mission, the UAVOS UVH-170 demonstrated its capability to operate autonomously for up to five hours and handle payloads up to four kilograms. Such capacity is essential for carrying sophisticated sensors used in both civilian and security applications. By flying at altitudes of 2,000 meters above the ground, the UAV can capture detailed video feeds of the fire's boundaries. These feeds are geo-referenced in real time and streamed back to the UAS Ground Control Station, providing immediate situational awareness to firefighting teams on the ground. And after the break, Moyan Delivery Drone Cap successful test campaign. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. Moya Delivery Drone Caps Successful Test Campaign Moya Aero finished off 87 successful test flights in the fourth phase of its test campaign, clearing just one of many obstacles on their way to rethink air logistics around the world. The team is currently hammering away at validation and certification of the Moya Evital, a top-loading cargo system with four motors and four fixed variable wings. Moya has moved the basic horizontal H design from its original agricultural aspirations to pretty much anything that could turn a profit with a battery-powered aircraft. Drone Pilot is Marine Corps' top aviator of the year. Major Shane Gentry, a third-generation Marine and an unmanned aerial vehicle pilot, was recently named the 2024 Marine Aviator of the Year, a distinguished accolade traditionally reserved for pilots of manned aircraft. This historic recognition marks the first time a drone pilot has been honored with the prestigious Alfred A. Cunningham Award, an annual recognition given by the Marine Corps Aviation Association. SpaceX to launch Inversion Ray reentry vehicle in fall. This fall, the aerospace startup Inversion is set to launch its Ray reentry demonstrator capsule aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 as part of the Transporter 12 rideshare mission. Founded in 2021 in a Los Angeles garage, Inversion aims to revolutionize space transport by enabling cargo delivery to any location on Earth within an hour. The Ray capsule, a significant stride towards this goal, represents the company's inaugural venture into space. 
The launch, scheduled no later than October 2024, marks a pivotal moment for Inversion. Rapid Flight offers UAS OEM demonstration in San Diego. Rapid Flight continues to make significant strides in its collaboration with the US DOD under the Replicator Initiative. This initiative is a cornerstone of the DOD's strategy to deploy autonomous systems across various military domains. At the upcoming AUVSI Exponential 2024, Rapid Flight will showcase its advanced modular UAS designs and digital additive manufacturing prowess. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Magni X and Harbor Air Inc. LOI 450 Magni 650 electric engines. In a landmark agreement announced on April 22nd, Magni X, a leader in electric aviation technology, has entered into a letter of intent with Harbor Air to supply 50 Magni 650 electric engines. This initiative is set to transform Harbor Air, North America's largest seaplane operator, by electrifying its fleet starting with the iconic de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver aircraft. The collaboration between Magni X and Harbor Air dates back to December 2019, when they achieved a historic milestone by successfully retrofitting and flying the E-Beaver, making it the world's first fully electric commercial aircraft. This latest agreement aims to further electrify Harbor Air's fleet and facilitate third-party conversions, signaling a significant advancement in sustainable regional aviation. Riona Armsmith, Chief Technology Officer at Magni X, emphasized the significance of this partnership and its alignment with broader environmental goals. Quote, electrifying Harbor Air's fleet with Magni X engines sets us on a course to define the future of regional flight, end quote. The Magni 650 engine is a cornerstone of this transformation, designed to power not only the initial conversion of the DHC-2 Beaver, but also other aircraft models in the future. This initiative is part of a broader movement within the aviation industry to adopt more sustainable practices and technologies. After these messages, VFS announces World eVTOL Directory now lists over 1,000 designs. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. VFS announces World eVTOL Directory now lists over 1,000 designs. The Vertical Flight Society announced a significant milestone in the electric vertical takeoff and landing sector, with its World eVTOL Aircraft Directory now documenting over 1,000 aircraft designs. This comprehensive registry, hosted on the VFS Electric VTOL News website, details a vast array of concepts developed by more than 430 designers, ranging from established aerospace giants to innovative startups and independent designers. This achievement underscores the rapid evolution of the eVTOL industry, which promises to revolutionize urban mobility through aircraft that offer low noise, zero emissions, and potentially lower operational costs compared to traditional helicopters. The directory not only tracks current designs, but also preserves a record of historical and defunct projects, providing a unique historical archive of the sector's development. VFS has been at the forefront of this transformative movement since hosting the first eVTOL workshop in 2014. The Society's proactive efforts in charting the progress of eVTOL technologies have been pivotal in fostering public and industry awareness. 
For instance, the directory's growth was significantly influenced by the emergence of Uber's Elevate initiative in 2017, which spurred a surge in eVTOL concept developments. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.